I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating. I'm feeding this demon. Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face. Work a job every day till your dreams fade away. Like a card, never change. Play the game that we say. I need a break. Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. Uh, today is Tuesday, June 21st, 2022, and there's some people walking around the uh, Upper Geyser Basin there. Those are all employees that you see. And um, I got an update. The park's supposed to be open tomorrow. I reported that in my last video also at 8 a.m. And because it's the 22nd, it means license plate that end with even numbers whatever your last number is for your license plate will be allowed to enter the southern loop only and motorcycles will be allowed to uh, enter the following day thursday the 23rd it will be odd numbers so we have examples here if you have personalized plates well, you're going to have to wait until Thursday to enter the park. They have a map here showing what area of the park will be open. They have the three entrances shown here. The northern loop, well, that's closed. Uh, mostly because um, it's only a single road going from uh, Mammoth to Gardner, I believe. And the northeast entrance, uh, that area has some uh, rock slides and mud slides. So going back to the map for the southern entrance, uh, we have here the east entrance that will be open. The west entrance will be open and then the south entrance. So we got the south entrance. We have the west entrance and the east entrance. Those areas will all be open. USGS is only reporting seven earthquakes for the last uh 24 hours the most recent a 1.5 there in chalice idaho uh clayton idaho a 1.7 lima montana now this here is the snake river plateau and for the last week there's been 35 earthquakes but it goes all the way up here uh towards Helena, Montana, and there's been five earthquakes in that area. The last earthquake they're reporting for the Yellowstone area is a 1.0. Yeah, that's up in the Madison River area. They listed it as Mammoth, Wyoming, but uh, yeah, that's actually the Madison River area. And that was yesterday. They also reported yesterday a 1.2 and let's see um yeah of course nothing on the weekend yeah they close up on the weekend and go home and then let's see on the 16th they reported 1.7 that was the largest so i downloaded data from three different monitors the one on the left is from the borehole uh, that's in the madison river area borehole 207 the one in the middle is Purple Mountain, and this is Holmes Hill. Um, this is close or within the Madison River area. And this is the la largest one that I could see within the last probably 24 hours. It shows up on all three monitors. They're not reporting it. And that comes in as a magnitude 2.76. Okay, and let's go to the spectrogram. It was probably really deep. Here we have the earthquake there at Purple Mountain. Yeah, volcanic tremors. See how deep they are with the rounded tops. And this one here, this is the bore hole. So it's not picking up any outside noise. But yeah, you can see we got volcanic tremors, rounded tops. Here on the bore hole, 207 you can see we got a lot of them marked in red which means the earth uh, the earthquake monitor picked them up 
uh, decided this was the location uh, where these earthquakes occurred. Purple Mountain's got two right there marked in red. That looks like all they have. USGS is not reporting that earthquake. There's the spectrogram for all three monitors. And I really shortened up the seismic signature. I should have probably made it longer, but it came in as a magnitude 1.86. Once again, not being reported. I'm just picking out some of these throughout here. Uh, there's another one at 1551. There, I had to fix it for the borehole. I had about 30 seconds before. 1551. That comes in as a magnitude 2.05. I might have made it a little bit too long, but I wanted to get it before this other earthquake, which is there. There's actually two. And we'll make that bigger. Yeah, there was actually two there. And we'll bring it back over. Anyways, 2.05. All right, another one for today. Uh, 2031. Now this is all universal time. And we got all three monitors here. The borehole picked up a lot of gases coming up. Purple Mountain, well, a little heat, not too much. And then Holmes Hill. Yeah, we got more heat here at Holmes Hill. So for the borehole, let me bring it down a little bit farther. That comes in as a magnitude 1.51. So there's the borehole on the left, Purple Mountain, not so much. Holmes Hill, a little bit stronger. So I'll bring that one, make that one larger, and we'll bring it down. And it also comes in as a magnitude 1.51. We'll show you the seismic signature right there. And I shortened it up. You can tell I shortened it up. So more recently... We got three earthquakes at uh, 58 minutes after midnight universal time. And you can see it on th all three monitors. Uh, because it's showing up so well at the Madison River and Holmes Hill. Well, yeah, I would say this is the Madison River area. But it's strong enough to be picked up on all three monitors. Here at the borehole, it comes in. Oh, let me bring it down a little bit farther as a 1.62 there's its signature yeah it rattled for quite a while um yeah i can tell just by looking at it without making this bigger this is volcanic tremors let me make that bigger for you oh actually harmonic tremors okay the monitor for holmes hill you can see it at the bottom 1.62 we'll go to the spectrogram and let's go back and let me see if I can pull this, if it'll show up. Okay, we'll go over a little bit. Um, all right, let's try this there. Okay, so we have volcanic and harmonic tremors. See how deep those are? That would be volcanic, and the shallower, the smaller ones would be harmonic. And that's what it's showing right now, the most recent one in red. Oh, I have to correct myself. We got one there, and we got another one there marked in red. Uh, 1108, there's the spectrogram, and it comes in as a 1.42. And we'll go back to this one here. Um, and you can see I really shortened up the seismic signature on the second one. That comes in as a magnitude 1.46. Then we got a teeny, teeny, tiny one down there. Yeah. And this is what the borehole was showing when I pulled the files. Yeah, you can see we got some drum beats going on. And we'll pull it over and let's go over to this section here. And right at the end, let's make that bigger. Yeah, harmonic tremors got magma. Magma flowing, rising up. Oh, look at it there. Right there. Here's the spectrogram during that time. And let's go down to when I pulled the files. Uh, 
So here's what it's currently showing. At the top, we have the borehole for the Madison River area. At the bottom is Purple Mountain. In the middle is Holmes Hill. Yeah, it looks like there's another small quake coming in currently. Let me pull, pull this over. Yeah, see all the earthquakes that are showing up at the, uh, the borehole? This, I, I didn't, I didn't pull this. Looks like they zoomed in on Beehive. Yeah, it looks a little dirty. And I've talked about how the microbial mats, yeah, they're dying for whatever reason. Yeah, they're going in real good. Um, but as you know, as the water, the acid water in the ground heats up, uh, mixed with sulfur, it brings up the iron. And that's what you're seeing when it's dirty. I wonder what they're going to look at. Yeah, the park has really changed from what it looked like two years ago. Yeah, it's getting to be more of a moonscape um, than the lush green foliage they used to have there. Yeah, who knows what they're looking at. Looks like they're looking at the sides of the different poles and the different geysers for some reason. They're not there at the park, whoever's operating the camera. And, um, yeah, it depends on the operator's interest, I suppose, or if someone there um, in Memelo Park, California... Who, um, that's where they're out of, who's in charge of Yellowstone, the uh, scientist in charge, Michael Pollan. Maybe he wants them to look at different areas to check it out instead of going there himself. Yeah, look at that heat coming up. It's just boiling away. So that's all I have for you right now. Um, if you have any thoughts or comments or questions, um, yeah, I wonder how this odd and even thing's going to go. They have raised the price of the hotels to about, um, 150 to uh, $200 a night, I believe. So, yeah, more expensive to, to go there than it was last year. Um, if you have any comments... Please put those down below. Thank you very much for your support. Boy, you guys are great. Thank you very much for subscribing. Um, yeah, I, I just don't know what I would do without you. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.